So uh, when you want to define a new location for your Oracle applications and maybe for your organization, you might find when you're defining or when you're doing your implementation, uh, you come to location and probably the window for location, you cannot be able to uh, create a new location because you don't you cannot be able to see the address like that you want to uh, assign to. So for instance, here, if I am under location and I want to define maybe like a PESA, PESA address, okay? So what I will do here is like, uh, I will be able to give the name, provide the name and probably give the description and after giving the description and I will come and uh, try to provide the name of the country or probably the address style, the country I'm creating for. For instance, let's say for Kenya. So you'll find uh, there's no anything or any address style defined for Kenya. So apart from this one, although I don't want to use this one because uh, I've already uh, defined it, although with the short code of uh, Kenya. Well, what I'll do, I want you to show you how we can define another one and so that you can be able to learn and to have the knowledge on how you can define the uh, new uh, address style probably in future. So what you're supposed to do, you should close this window. Once you close this window, I'm supposed to clear. So I'm supposed to navigate to application developer. The application developer navigation is flex field, uh, descriptive. You start with register. So descriptive, descriptive flex field uh, window will open. And here you're supposed to query the application and uh, probably the title that you are uh, working or you want to define your uh, address at. So for this case, we will be defining under human resource uh, application and the title is uh, location address. So what I'll do, I'll query. Let me put this uh, window in query mode. Control F or F11. Then uh, I type human resource okay human resource can query and probably it will not show something but i can close remove the resource name and put perso uh, percentage and query again so i can be able to see several descriptive uh, flex fields and which are we interested in in this case is human resource with the title location address. This is the one that we're interested in. So what happens, the reason why we are coming here is because you might find this is protected. This checkbox here, it is for protection. And uh, what happens is uh, you will find uh, if it is protected, you'll find uh, you cannot be able to update it under, your, uh, under creating a new style under address style. So what happens, you have to come here and unprotect it. So that's why I have, first of all, uh, shown you this place or this window. So that one, once you are unprotect that, you should save. But now we are not saving because uh, it wasn't un, un, uh, protected. So once that one is done, uh, you should navigate to flex field. Uh, let me show you. Flex field, uh, descriptive uh, segments. Okay. Once you come here, you're supposed to query for the uh, application, which is human resource with the title location address. So we have an application here and the title here. So what we do, we just come and 
and uh, plus there, select the find uh, icon. Then we type human, human resource. Then location. If we provide percentage in between, then press enter. It should be able to give all the information with that, or all the application and title that relates to that information. In our case, we have human uh, resource look uh, as the hum as the application, and the title is location address. Press enter or select. Here you can be able to see a lot of uh, information and uh, the prompt context here is the address style. There is the reference field, which is style. Uh, ignore that. We are interested in context field values. So here is where we provide our, uh, our information for uh, address style. So what we are supposed to do we're supposed to uncheck this freeze flex field definition. You uncheck, uh, you'll get a caution from the system telling you unfreezing this flex field and making changes to the segment definitions could affect the validity of the data already existing for this field. Say okay, uh, you understand that because you're a sharp person. Then uh, come and select under the lines, under context field values, uh, you can select anywhere, any any row. Yeah, you can correct. You can select any row, and come in. Uh, select new. Once you select new, it should add give you a new field whereby you can now define your your information. So what happens here? I've uh, already defined for Kenya, uh, but I want to define again uh, so that you can see the end to end. So we'll be having two address for Kenya. So what we have here is uh, we have the we have the the we can provide the code key K E. But now this one it is telling me that it is already existing. So what we can do um, we will edit what is existing. We will not create a new a new one. We will edit what is existing so we can just uh, find and we provide uh, our code and this is what is uh, existing so what happens this is the ke that i have shown you in the beginning but now we want it to be uh, full name so we'll call it kenya so we can save and uh, the system has saved. Then after now this, uh, after assuming that we never define the code and we only doing it a flash, we could have come and placed, after providing the code and name, and of course the description, we would have come and click on segments. So under segment, you will have all this option to provide this. Uh, uh, you know, values under segment summary location address Kenya. So these values are important because they are the one that you will be mapping your uh, your 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 information when you are when you are when you are giving the addresses that is required when uh, you know using the address type. So in this case, you only provide this and save. Once you save, you can close this tab or this window. And uh, by that time, because you would have unfreezed this uh, freeze flex field definition, you will need to come and check it so that you can freeze it. Now, the system will tell you, make sure you do not want to make any more changes to the flex field segment definition before freezing the flex field. And freezing and changing the definitions later could affect the validity of existing data for your flex field. So click OK. It's just a caution and now you compile and you get a note of compiling flex field definition so this is an error but it doesn't have much uh, effect when it comes to what we want to achieve so click ok 
and uh, you are good you can close this so you have defined your uh, new address there so if we happen to navigate to either uh, uh, human resource or even uh, purchasing we can define the location in either of the two so you come to setup and uh, organization and we have locations same case you can be able to achieve from the other side of uh, uh, human resource uh, responsibility so here we can say pesa address and uh, we want it under the address style of kenya yeah we have it there we go so we can provide a test uh, test data of values here test one two three test nairobi nairobi then you can test some more bus okay then you click ok and with that you can choose to either give more information or like shipping details you know other other details you can choose now but the goal was to have this address style in this way so that's how we create or define a new address style continue watching and subscribing thank you